Hello, and welcome to the online introduction to Reliability Workbench 11, incorporating Fault Tree Plus. My name is Joe Beland, and I'm a member of Isograph's technical training and support staff. Isograph has just launched Reliability Workbench version 11. This new version represents a major development of the widely used program and incorporates Isograph's leading edge Fault Tree Plus product into a single, powerful, integrated environment for reliability and safety analysis. This new version may now be licensed as an enterprise system. Using Microsoft's SQL Server, organizations can install a centralized database system containing project and libraries in a controlled environment with user groups and roles. Licensed enterprise users may check projects in and out of the enterprise system and access centralized libraries and parts data for which they have the appropriate permissions. Enterprise administrators can manage users, set permissions, and regulate file revisions. Running under the Microsoft.NET framework, Reliability Workbench version 11 provides the look and feel of a modern Windows application. The project tree control is more extensive, allowing greater direct access to project tables with the ability to sort and reorder objects. The window layout is more flexible, allowing users to display combinations of diagrams, grids, plots, libraries, and reports. The grid control now displays data from all the standard project tables and allows users to easily sort and filter the displayed data. In addition to standard grid layouts, users may now produce their own customized layouts. Custom layouts allow you to easily toggle grid views to see relevant information. These custom layouts may be saved and exported to other users. The library feature now has the ability to open multiple libraries at once. This allows users to construct libraries of different types of data and concurrently access each one. Data may be dragged from a library onto the appropriate node in the project tree control. Data linking has also been expanded. Not only can you link a fault tree failure model with another module in Reliability Workbench, but you can link to another project or an external library. A linked failure model's data will be associated with the source data in such a way that if the source data is updated, the change will be reflected in the linked fault tree failure model. This, combined with the enterprise functionality, makes it very easy to store a centralized library of failure rate data that numerous users and projects can draw from. Gate and event dialogs have been improved. Different options have been categorized onto separate tabs to make the dialog look less cluttered. Additionally, options have been added to the Edit Event dialog to allow you to find, create, and edit both local and generic failure models directly from the Edit Event dialog. Several improvements and additions have been made to the failure models. The dialog itself has been updated similarly to the Edit Gate and Event dialogs. It now allows for notes and hyperlinks to be associated with a model. A brand new IEC 61508 failure model has been added to assist users in performing fault tree analysis on safety instrumented systems. This new model allows users to specify a dangerous failure fraction as well as safe and dangerous diagnostic coverages. These values are used to calculate safe failure fractions and a dangerous failure rate, which can then be used to determine a probability of failure on demand or spurious trip rate. Additionally, the IEC 61508 failure model allows for imperfect proof testing, meaning that some hidden failures are not detected during a test. Lastly, the failure model includes a failure rate calculator. If users are more comfortable entering the safe, dangerous, detected, and undetected failure rates directly, the program can use these values to calculate the corresponding fractions of the total failure rate. Other features intended to assist users when performing an analysis on safety instrumented functions are the ability to assign a safety integrity level target to each top gate in the project, calculation of hardware fault tolerance requirements for the given SIL target according to the IEC 61508 standard, and the ability to show results in terms of risk reduction factor, or RRF. The Weibull failure model has also been expanded to integrate with the new Weibull module. Users of Isograph's Availability Workbench may already be familiar with this module. 
The new Weibel module of Reliability Workbench analyzes historical failure data and assigns a probability distribution that represents the failure characteristics of the historical data. Data may be entered manually by the user or imported from other packages or transferred via the Windows clipboard. Reliability Workbench automatically fits a distribution to the user-provided data and displays the results graphically in the form of cumulative probability plots, failure rate plots, and probability density function plots. The failure distribution assigned to a given set of times to failure, known as a Weibull set, may then be assigned to a fault tree failure model. The Markov module has also been improved. Graphical improvements allow you to change the colors of the states in transitions, resize states, and add curved transitions. Additionally, generic Markov parameters can now be edited and created directly from the Transition Properties dialog. Markov models are no longer treated as separate files, but instead are a part of the Reliability Workbench project file in which they are created. Each Markov model has its own settings, parameters, and phases, which can be edited from the Models Properties dialog. Markov models can be shared between projects using the library facility and applied to a fault tree basic event simply by dragging and dropping. Reliability Workbench now incorporates Report Designer version 2.0. Report Designer supersedes the Report Generator that was the integral reporting facility provided with Reliability Workbench version 10. The new Report Designer streamlines the process of creating fault tree reports. Among the new abilities in the Report Designer are the ability to export directly to PDF, a distinction between reading mode and design mode, collapsible panel views that can be used to edit report elements, and an improved custom query generation dialog. In addition, the report templates themselves are saved locally on your computer as files with a .rwb-repx extension, and can be shared with coworkers. A new feature allows Reliability Workbench users to access external applications from within the Failure Model Properties dialog. The External Apps facility may be used to populate a failure model with data from a third-party database. If an external app connection has been configured, an icon in the Failure Model Properties dialog will allow users to seamlessly connect to another application. The new NPRD 2011 failure data package has been added to the Isograph Parts Library, allowing users to access over 81,000 parts failure rates. The NPRD 2011 library represents a compilation of data collected from the early 1970s through to December 2008. As with the previous NPRD parts library, part data can easily be dragged and dropped into the project tree to create a new generic failure model. This newest version of Fault Tree Plus is available exclusively within Reliability Workbench. Current Fault Tree users with an up to date maintenance agreement can upgrade to this new version for no additional cost. Please contact Isograph today to request an upgrade.